you're not going to master every category, but you know, you should know enough to be dangerous in a lot of categories and it'll help your bottom line. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the cabin. We're doing some selling in here like we typically do. Sold a couple cool things today and it got me thinking, you know, I've heard, I listen to a lot of shows. I listen to a lot of shows on YouTube. Sometimes I comment, a lot of times I comment, but sometimes I just listen to listen while I'm working. And I heard somebody the other day have a blanket statement that X doesn't sell on eBay. And I thought, Yes, it does. You just got to find the right thing. And so I think it's, well, it's not dangerous, but it's a mistake to take a particular type of item and say that just doesn't sell. Because it seems like, not always, but it seems like almost every category has something that sells. You know, people say, well, Beanie Babies don't sell. Well, some Beanie Babies sell. It just depends. Funko Pops never make any money. Well, that's not true either. Some Funko Pops make a bunch of money. And so I think there's just different things in different categories that are actually worth looking for. And if you give this blanket statement that this doesn't sell, then you won't be able to find those one, two, four, eight, six things that do sell. And I'm constantly learning, trying to figure out what those few things are. You know, you don't, you're not going to master every category. But, you know, you should know enough to be dangerous in a lot of categories and it'll help your bottom line. So at any rate, let's take a look what's sold. All right, it's kind of a no-brainer kind of thing, right? I don't know why this one took so long to sell. I thought it had a great price on it. Maybe the market changed on a little bit. I think it's $17 on this one. So not a bad sale. This one did come from our big $100 buy not too long ago that I talk about every once in a while. So pretty happy with that one. But I thought maybe, you know, it's a $20 game. Well, apparently it isn't. I'm sure it's far more than that on, on Amazon these days. So here we go. Search and rescue. This is for a ball retriever. I don't ever need those because I never hit the ball in the water, but those ball retrievers, you know, golf ball retrievers, this is a cover for that. And there are not many listed on eBay. So I'm like, yeah, I'll list it. I think $7.99 maybe, something like that. All right, and this one's a little nicer one. $15 for this club head cover. And you know, it's free shipping on this. So, you know, it's three something to ship it. And I just put it in a poly bag. People ask me, how do you ship plush? Well. Depends on what the plush is. Usually throw it in a poly bag. Same thing with these. I'll just throw it in a poly bag. If it has a piece of plastic or something on it or something hanging off, I might put it in two poly bags just to make sure it doesn't tear through or something. Although it probably wouldn't anyways. By the way, I forgot to mention something at the beginning of the video. I'm filming this on a GoPro 8. Typically I film it on a GoPro Hero 7 Black and this is a Hero 8 Black. My wife got me a 9 so that's going to become the garage sale one. And Turner's been begging me to get this one up and running, or that one up and running, so he could have the 7. <laughs> so, I guess I just gave him the Hero Black 7, but we'll see. Maybe if he uh, treats it right, he'll get to keep it. Alright, here's the item I was talking about there. So, I got this one at a sale, like $100 garage sale shirt or something like that. I think the guy was, it was a great sale, and I bought tons of vintage clothing. Made a bunch of money already on it. Had a good day that day. It was just a fun day. And down in Roanoke, Virginia, found a few cool things. And I saw this one and my eyes just lit up. I'm like, oh, I got to get this one. And he was giving me great prices on stuff, you know, like a dollar for some things, you know, shirts that I was selling for 20, 30 bucks. And came to this one and he, you could tell, I, I think, I want you to go watch the video. So maybe I'm wrong, but my recollection, which I suppose could be wrong, is that he wanted me to pay up for it. And I'm kind of nervous. And he says, five bucks. I'm like, well, yeah, no problem. I'll give you five bucks for this one. And I uh, brought it home, and I figured it was around a $100 shirt, and that's what it went for, $90 plus shipping on this one. You know, if this is a normal polo shirt, size XL, purple with the pony here, it's 20 bucks. But it's not. It's the all over. I think is that's what you put in the title for something like this, all over. And it's a $100 shirt, so pretty happy. Well, $90 shirt. Pretty happy about that one. Love that sale. And this is what I'm talking about. There's something almost in every category. Normal polo shirt like this, it's just not worth picking up unless you're getting it really cheap or getting multiple um, colors in the same size. It's not worth picking up, but this one sure was. Next item is an item that I picked up at a garage sale. I wish I could remember the name of this. I might look it up and put it in here, but I can't remember the name of this garage sale right offhand. 
but it was a good one. I found some J. Vernon McGee books through the Bible, the whole set. Sold them for a bunch of money. I can't remember how much, but we made a ton of money, and they were dirt cheap. And I bought a bunch of other stuff, and at the very next sale that I think we have on that video, I bought what I'm going to show you right now. And this is something that I was trying to play around with a title for this video. I don't know what I'm going to title this video. It'll probably be more about this shirt than it will be about anything else, or about just selling common things or something like that. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to title it. But here you go. When you see this item right now, I want you guys to come up with your uh, slightly inappropriate titles for this video. And maybe the next time I sell it, I'll use one of your suggestions <laughs> out there for this one. Let's take a look. And there are a bunch of these. So I mean the next time we sell it because we're going to sell some more. I think I had these listed for $10 plus shipping. We're in the pure profit on these for sure. They're not selling for much, but there's a bunch of them. Single listings. That's my kind of listing right there. It is a Viagra blood pressure cuff. There you go. Like, okay, let me try and think of some, you know, this this eBay sale got a rise out of me, or uh, this one got my blood pressure up, or I don't know. <laughs> Give me your uh, titles for these videos below. And I took an offer on this one. I think I sent out an offer because we've only sold one. I don't remember, $8 maybe plus shipping? I have to take a look at that, but it is pure profit. So let's say it's eight bucks, we'll say it's a $6 profit and we have a bunch of them. Next item is back here and it's a traditional Commonwealth picker item. And I have a little, it's not really a trick, but I, I sell these in a different way than a lot of people do. And it does make for a sale every once in a while. And it is in, I can just pull it out right here. This one we got at that, something about awkward or something. I can't remember the name of the sale, but Reagan was with me. And I think she found it. And typically, I don't like the jello molds, but this one was in good shape and it was complete and it was blue. There you go. Didn't have to do much to it. And you can also just sell the lids. And so, if it's cheap enough, I'll pick them up. So, this one right here only sold for, I think, $12.95, $12.90, something like that, which is not a whole bunch. But you know, if you can pick them up for a buck and if you can ship them correctly, you're going to make a little bit of money. So, what I typically do, because Tupperware is pretty sturdy unless it's old and crackly and been out in places that it shouldn't have been out. I'll take these and I'll put in the listing, hey, I'm going to ship this thing in a poly bag. And I'm going to put a little piece of bubble around it and I'm going to ship it just like that. So that somebody doesn't get it and like, this person didn't even put it in a box and whatever. I'll put it right there in the listing just so they know this thing is not going out. A lot of people will sell these things and they'll ship them priority mail. They'll just never sell them because the price is too much for shipping or they're selling for like $3.99 plus priority mail. So, and that's not worth it. So I just put it out there and I put the shipping as first class, put bubble wrap around it, put it in a bag. And I've never had a trouble at all. I've never had trouble at all with these things getting. The pickle keepers do the same thing. Never had trouble with them all getting there. Never had anybody complain, knock on wood. And you know, the shipping on it's around $3.50, four bucks max, a couple dollars in fees on there. And you end up making six to seven dollars and you get a sale where nobody else gets a sale all right this item is really probably something i shouldn't have sold but i took a picture of it already because i wasn't even looking them up i thought they were in a pile of records that i had already looked up and deemed good enough to list on ebay as opposed to taking to my antique booth and so i already had a picture for it and i'm like well i guess i'll list it i got a little uh, i guess you want to call it a trick to this one as well it doesn't sell for much. This is not an amazing record. Lindsey Buckingham. Some of you will recognize his face there, as I did. And that's how I figured I'd sell it. Plus, it's a promo copy right there. Giveaway. They're, they do these for different reasons. I'll let the vinyl people characterize it down below. Because there's not really disagreement. But there is different reasons why they did this in different time periods. But I'll let you all argue about it down there. You know more than I do. It's not in great shape. But it wasn't bad. This I recognize as somebody in, if you know Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac. And so I looked at the solds and they're terrible solds. And there's a ton of listings that are pretty low priced. And I'm like, well, I'm going to find the listing that, hey, look at that. I just noticed there's Scream in there. It's not in a man's screen, though. So at any rate, I put Fleetwood Mac in the title. And that's what got the sale. And it still didn't sell for much. $6.00 plus shipping on that one and uh, we're into these for like 20 cents so you know we'll make like four or five bucks on it also had somebody ask pretty recently about those boxes that we use for those they're definitely like everything else of course 
down there in the affiliate links. And I think one of them, the prices got jacked up and I need to change it on one of them. I can't remember if it's Amazon or eBay. Same thing with the bubble wrap. So occasionally prices change and I'm out there saying, hey, this is the best price. Sometimes they're not. But even if you go through the link and then find a better price, it still helps me out. So I appreciate everybody who does that. Hey, Turner's got a couple of sales out of the Homeschool Hustler store. What do you got, bud? Lady and... Which one's Lady? This one. That's right. Do you remember the movie? Oh. Uh, lady and the... Trent. You got it. And that's... Ooh, you're probably not going to know. You've seen this one, but do you know who that is? I forgot. <laughs> it's okay, but it's Toto. Toto. Toto yeah. from The Wizard of Oz. You know what? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Is Toto a boy? Toto's a boy? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Should I know this? Toto sounds like a boy. All right, y'all tell me in the comments. Okay, so thank you. And this went to Yvonne. And she's in California. And I don't think I saw a message. So I'm assuming because there's two buys here. There's two of them. And whenever two people buy them, it's usually a viewer, right? So it's enough for you to do what? Save it all or spend a dollar and donate. You got it, buddy. Thank you, Yvonne. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Hey, I almost forgot out there, 12 Days of Christmas auction sale, and those are winding down as we're getting prepared to start the filming process for the different giveaways we're going to do on the Commonwealth Picker Channel. So here we go. This is the Inaman ornament that... Oh, now I can't remember who sent this to me. I'm in trouble. Who sent me these two ornaments? Ah, leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll give you another shout out. So I really do appreciate that, by the way. And so it's going to go to a good cause here. And this went off for auction right around 30 bucks. And I think Jennifer bought it. And Jennifer, if you left a message, I didn't see it. So we've got the Commonwealth Picker sticker and the Commonwealth Flipper sticker and a card. And then the Commonwealth Flipper sticker, Picker sticker, the little ones. Can you see that there? And then the ornament. So there you go. It's headed your way. And thank you for your generosity. And it's going to go to a good cause. Blue Ridge Mama must pick this one up. And if she did, she got it from Goodwill. I don't know. I don't remember Bubba wearing Vineyard Vine. Maybe he did. But if she got it from Goodwill, which is probably where she got it, because I didn't buy it, it would have cost $3.99. And it's over $20 plus shipping. So not a bad little profit on that one. And I don't know how she did shipping on this. I bet it's Priority padded flat rate because it feels like it's over. I don't know. It might be borderline. We'll have to find out. I think this is the last of a great pickup, or there's maybe one more. And we got these treasurer plates. I think we were paying a dollar a piece for them. I have to go back and look at that video. It's one. It's like in the first month of videos that we put out on this channel, so or actually on the Commonwealth Picker channel. It's been a long time. It's been a year and a half or so. At any rate. We made a bunch of money on these things. These were the last ones to go, and they went for the cheapest. I think $34, maybe. I, don't, I think it's $34 plus shipping on these. Yeah, I just had to look there. I wasn't sure. $34 plus shipping. They were a hard one just because the number, 103, right? And I've said this before. If it's, you know, 88, then, you know, somebody wore number 88 playing football one year, and they're from Virginia, and they, they bought this, right? Or if it's 22, somebody's, you know, that's somebody's number or what year they were born in. But, you know, nobody was born in 103. So I suppose somebody could turn 103, but I doubt they're buying license plates on eBay. So at any rate, the numbers matter when you buy these specialty plates. But the fact that they're specialty plates make them special. So there you go. Constitutional officer, $34 plus shipping. I think I paid a dollar a piece for them. Hey, I got a gift from a viewer slash creator here, and I've got it plugged in, so it only comes so far. So can y'all see this? This is from John over there at Nevermore Antique. Well, show me pickers now, I guess. John was one of the very first to send us something. He was the first one, I think, to send Turner anything way back in the day. And he sent him some Spider-Man comics a long, long time ago, and we still appreciate that, John. And you were kind to our show as it was growing, so thank you. And I didn't see a message in the box. So if I miss something, let me know. Send me a message here. But this is what it was. I think he probably just came across this thing as my guest and said, this probably needs to go to, to Kevin. Can you read this? I should have put something behind it. It says, warning, I'm the baseball coach your mother warned you about. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. In, in a previous incarnation, which apparently I've just gone through here, I was a baseball coach. And you know what? In some ways, I was a baseball coach first, second, and third. And and I'm glad that that time period is behind me in some ways. 
it's that era of my life ended probably six years ago. But ten years ago, it was it was number one priority for me. I was I am very competitive and I'm somewhat compulsive and whatever, which you might be able to see. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but that sign reminds me of that's how I felt because I was passionate about it. And I don't regret those days. I loved it. That was my identity in some respects. But, you know, you don't want to be defined by something that's fleeting, I don't think. Most people don't. And so I have focused more on things that uh, mean things, mean a lot to me, um, my family, for instance. But that does just make me smile. And I have a picture here that that reminded me of, and I'm going to show it to you against my better judgment, and that'll give you an idea, maybe a glimpse into maybe who I was as opposed to who I am. Let me let you take a look. All right, before I show you this, let me just give you a little insight here, a little context, a little history lingo there for you. So I'm, it's at the end of a school year, and at the end of the school year, you y'all been to school. The last week is like, why are we here, right? And so a lot of times the different groups around school, there's an art club, and there's a uh, advanced art class, and there's a sculpting, or what, you know, there's all kinds of different stuff. There's a photography class, and they do like an art show. And so it was like the last week of school. We're done with everything. Our AP test is in the bag. You know, it's all done. And I'm like, you know what? let's go down there and look at this thing because i had a few artistic folks in my class and whatever you know they don't get all that much attention i'm like we're gonna go down there and we're gonna look at what they've done and i go down there and, and i figured out what happened one of those kids at can we go down there can we go down there and look i'm like okay we'll go down there and look and i show up and there's this photography display and it's got me on it somebody took a picture of me coaching i had no idea and this is what this is what i see here so here we go there's me screaming. Can you see that? At my pitchers. Or at a pitch. I was actually screaming at my catcher. <laughs> and I'm like, holy moly. This thing is up in the school with parents coming through. I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. So there you go. That was me. You'll notice the hat, though, of course, with the sunglasses on. So, anyway, thank you for indulging my story. And thank you, John, for that. We do appreciate it. And we'll uh, put your... Put your channel right there so thank you and uh, we're gonna head back out there and do something like we always do but we can't wait to see you next time hey Ring, what's sold out of your store today a uh, flipper sticker to andrew we get things moving shirt to van and a and a mod for kyle <laughs> <laughs> all right and i think van we talked about came here like van bought something else and i like yep yeah. so van bought something else so thank you van we appreciate it and was it Andrew or Kyle? No, it was Andrew. Andrew. And Andrew said what? What he said? He said he needed he said a he needed a flipper sticker to go with the picker sticker. Uh huh. And then Kyle got an in a mug, and he said that's a perfect place for his uh, in a man to hang out. <laughs> so there you go. So thank y'all. We do appreciate it very, very much. Thank you and bye. And don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com.